what's good youtube it's your boy rj and today we're going to be checking out another video video from our boy it's complicated go check out his channel link is in the description let's get into the video why is it more socially acceptable for women to hate men than it is for men to hate women because men are the devil because uh... men are trash well you know what see i'm contributing to the stigma you are but like there's more sus men than there are sus women I just, it's just facts, and that's all I gotta say about it. So it's a double standard because there's more sus men than there are sus women. The end. <laughs> Should anybody be hating anybody? No. 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 If it's acceptable for women to hate men, how are men and women ever supposed to get together? Good question. Good question. That is a good question. It is a great question. It's complicated. The, I believe that there is an attack on the family unit, whether that be for bad behavior, whether that be for toxic thought processes being brought to the light and being broadcast to millions and millions of people at a time. There is an attack in this world going on that's trying to capture your mind and trying to really rot your mind. I don't think it's acceptable for women to hate men. It's not really acceptable for women to hate men unless they give us a reason to. I got a phone call. But, hello. <laughs> Should men be willing to go to war and fight for a country that hates them? Absolutely not. I don't think war makes sense to me. It makes absolutely no sense to me. I don't, I don't think war is ever the answer. No, absolutely not. War. Ever. No. I think men naturally are more athletic, more, they're stronger than women, whether we like to admit it or not, it's the truth. If men are more valued in society than women, why would they be the first ones sacrificed in war? Because they think they're more valued, they're, they're being paid for more for everything, so you put your ass online. Woman would never be seen fighting, right? So it was the man's job, it was their duty, kind of that was like the gender role then. I don't agree with it now, but then that's probably what it would have been. It was only a gender role because men, so, so let me break it down. Men can't even vote and will go to jail if they don't go into the draft so guess what the guys that didn't sign that paper for selective service didn't get to vote either it wasn't just women there were plenty of guys throughout history you can look it up that rejected the draft and they were punished for it in law but women didn't even have to worry about that stuff at all they just seen the privilege of signing up for your responsibility, which is selective service. Oh, men get to vote. But why does he get to vote is the question. What type of responsibility does he hold in order to do something like that? That's how this media portrays this type of stuff. They show you the results. They show you the privileges that you get for certain situations, and for certain people, and they don't tell you the responsibility that comes with this. They don't tell you the, the struggle that comes with this. They just show you the flashy stuff. Come on now. Have you ever personally been denied the right to vote? No. Nah. No. No. Would you give up your right to vote if it meant you got drafted into the army? Uh, yes. Would you give up your right to vote if it meant you got drafted into the army? No. Mm. I probably would not vote. <laughs> What if I told you that voting rights originally required you to be drafted into war and own land? I remember back in the uh, beginning of the uh, United States, the, that was the law, I remember that. I read it in books. And I think like sometimes for, I know like to apply for colleges, like boys have to, or if you want scholarships, you have to agree to be drafted and as loans. well, which I think is crazy. Why are the men of today expected to pay for the sins of the men of the past? Because they still keep making the same mistakes. <laughs> what? So is feminism about revenge? No, feminism is about our right to be uh, like allowed. I think to it's a body. base level of equality that we're trying to reach over here. Where do we not have the base level of equality? I don't have any rights that a, my sister doesn't have or my mother or my grandmother. We all have the same rights. Matter of fact, for the same rights that we have, I have more responsibility. Because guess what? If they call a draft, my name might get pulled. My sister's name is not going to get pulled. My mother's name is not going to get pulled. So for the same rights, I have more responsibility. Right? If someone busts into my house 
it's my job to die for the house, right? But we both live in the house, though, right? So for the same things, men are expected more a lot of times than women. But then there's a Jedi mind trick that happens where it's really media, but women have been convinced that they're expected to do more for the same thing as men when it's never been the case. And as long as we can get to that, then I think we're chilling, but we got a long way to go. Yeah. Wage gaps and shit, absolutely whack. That's Maybe more fun. now than when it started. When it started, they're just, women just wanted to be recognized, but some like any, any other thing, like even uh, religion or anything, it went overboard. I think we hold a lot of grudges in our society, not just for men, but for a lot of things in the past, and we need to do a better job at staying present. Why did the women of the past, who had less rights, also have less hatred for men than the women of today? Because of social media. Mm, because they point. couldn't say anything. They were depending on the men. If they say anything, the men would just like beat her or stop paying for her or ignore her completely. I think it was just a cultural thing. Now we are having more conversations about inequality and a lot of emotions come up and it turns into hatred for a lot of people. Why do you think that young women today feel more oppressed despite the fact that they didn't go through the hard times that older women supposedly went through? Because of social media. <laughs> Say that again. Because young people today so expect everything in their, without working for it. As we see in times change, we've come to realize that uh, we need to be treated equally. Mm -hmm. And with the creation of social media, there's come with a lot of like unrealistic standards for women, like along with beauty standards, as well with like behavioral standards. Like there's a lot of pressure on women to act a certain way and look a certain way in media. I understand where she's coming from, right? But it, think about why there are all these standards for women. Because there have been studies that have proven that women spend more money than men. And how do you get a woman to spend more money? You make her feel insecure. The more insecure a woman feels, the more money she spends. She wants to go buy more makeup to make herself feel pretty because she's insecure about her looks. She wants to go buy more clothes for the same reason. She don't feel like she's fashionable enough. And she's going to go buy more clothes. She wants to go on more trips because now she wants to show this image of how valuable she is. Oh, look at me. I'm going on all these trips. And while she's doing all this stuff, she's taking money away from her household, away from her infrastructure. And the only way to men, we don't get insecure as easily. And when we do feel insecure, we bottle it up. We don't go on shopping sprees. The only time men spend money like that is to impress women. Outside of that, we wouldn't spend a dime. But women, on the other hand, y'all are more emotional. Y'all are more, so you, when y'all feel insecure, y'all look for physical things to subside and try to numb that insecurity. That's why every advertisement, what did she say on the billboard? Companies have to pay to be on that billboard. So when they pay to get on that billboard, they're going to advertise to the person that is more than likely going to spend money so they can pay to be on that billboard. But when women realize this stuff, then we'll see a whole culture shift. Until then, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. Like that is one thing that you cannot deny. And whereas like, and yeah, there's the same thing with men where it's like six packs on billboards, but you see a right. lot more women plastered on these billboards with these like, beauty standards and like behavioral standards especially depicted in movies why don't we acknowledge that if women had it bad men usually had it worse weren't men also oppressed well there's always been an oppression because there's always been more like even white uh, white men they were richer and then there were richer and kings and this and that so there's always been oppression and they'll probably always be even though it's not a good thing didn't men have harsher tasks placed upon them weren't men sacrificed under more hazardous conditions? Perhaps, but they also required women to do specific things and not they could they were not allowed to do things that men could do. That's because who wants they they wife or their daughter working in a mine? Here we know how dangerous this is. They knew how dangerous that was. Even when they was doing it. Who 
one thing about it, I'm not about to send an army full of women to go fight an army full of men. It doesn't make sense. When she says women aren't weren't allowed to do it, well, guess what? Y'all weren't volunteering. Y'all weren't forcing your way into the mine. Y'all weren't forcing your way onto the front line because don't nobody really want to do it. We're just innately built to do that. We're stronger. We don't deal with the emotional fluctuation constantly every single month. We are built to be this way. We're built to be the leaders. We're more stable consistently. A woman will wake up on that time of the month and be a whole different person that day or that two or three days. And then she'll snap back to it after that, right? We don't have to deal with that. Back then, women was, weren't allowed to work. They had to stay home. So that's why it seems like men had bar all the trouble. Patriarchy doesn't mean that men control every single narrative out there. Um, I just think that because men are typically in those more powerful positions, that's what creates it. But it doesn't mean women still don't have a voice. Oh, man, it's so funny to me how people don't understand that the guys in these powerful positions be some of the most stressed out people in the world. They don't just sit in these places in the tops of societies and just kick back with their feet up. It's stress. You're dealing with society's problems every single day. All the problems that you deal with are not your problems. So you have to learn what the problem is. Then you have to learn how the problem got started. Then you have to figure out a way, when, especially when it's never been done, to solve the problem. So every day you're dealing with somebody else's problems. Think about all the problems you deal with in your own life. Now multiply that by 300 million. Now they get paid a lot. Why? Because they hold a lot of responsibility. Nobody's going to do these jobs if they're making minimum wage. Who wants those problems? So how do you convince people to step up to the plate? You pay very well. Go look at the day Obama got inaugurated on his first election. Then look at his last day in office. In eight years, look how, look how many gray hairs grow on his head. Look how fast the dude aged. This stuff is stressful. This is not something that everybody is built for. Shoot, all men aren't built for these positions. And we're innately built to be in these positions. And all men can't be in these positions. Where did all these laws come from that protect women and punish men? A overbalance. Before, nobody would, like women were completely left to themselves and they started taking power and they went overboard. We should be more in the middle. I'm not sure exactly what laws you're talking about. Well, like family courts, things like that. Um, I don't know where they came from, but actually when I was little, I really wanted to be a divorce attorney for dads because I felt it was really unfair I like that her. they weren't well represented. Can you think of any behaviors people used to have that are no longer acceptable by today's standards? Well, the uh, husband were, were coming back from work and expecting his wife to be all dressed up, all uh, with the meal on the table and the uh, pipe and the glass of scotch and... At least do that. It's too much. You can't... Hold on out. So we out here grinding. You at home all day. Let's not even say there are kids involved. Let's say we, we have no kids. You at home all day. You telling me it's too much to make a meal. But at least get pretty for me and have a smile on your face. To make a meal in all actuality, how long does it really take to make a meal? You telling me that's too much, huh? This is why men that have sense don't even want to deal with women right now. It's because it's, it's, it's a battle. We constantly have to battle you. I'm not trying to battle you. If we can't coexist in peace, with, and I mean peace to the full extent of the word peace, if we can't co coexist in peace, I don't even really want to deal with you because I'm not trying to live my life battling with you for the rest of my life. And honestly, you shouldn't want the same with me either. Does a mother continue to resent her child for all of the bad things children do when they're developing? No, I don't think so. Mother, a mother's love is unconditional. It is sometimes that you, you do kind of hold on to things. That's why it's best to let things go on all levels. Mother, wife, sister, doesn't matter. Just learn how to deal with it and let it go. Shout out to It's Complicated. Like I said in the beginning of the video, go check out his channel. Link is in the description. My man is always, always, always dropping banger content. But go ahead and check him out. But if you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and subscribe because I upload videos like this. Also, if you enjoyed this video specifically, leave a thumbs up.
and let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about some of these responses whether they were good responses or just total foolery let me know what y'all think down in the comment se section below i've been seeing y'all comments and hey man i love the conversation we having bro y'all some of y'all are out here are some intelligent people so i want to see those responses down in the comment section below it's your boy rj i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one deuces you too